favorite tool, my favorite tool. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use. actually my favorite tool and I just want to give them a bit of a shout out because I do a lot of insurance work and this tool is so easy I don't have a Makita back but uh, I may get it one day and I don't have an attachment but we just stick a vacuum cleaner over that and, and then we use that to cut so it comes with a little allen key and you take this off and you can adjust the setting for this to have it just go 10 mil or whatever thickness your, your drywall is that way you don't have to worry about any cables or anything uh, above the top or even if there's timber battens or furring channel anything like that this is the box it came in very good tool my favorite tool so i'm going to show you how easy it is to use and there's actually no dust whatsoever so a little tip when you're getting it started put the end in like this start it and then plunge down and then plunge into it and then start going and if you just look here you know where to stop the blade ends there so you just stop on this point here I always look at that so let's get this going so we're just going to be cutting from here right to the end there and you'll see how quick and easy it is
Just a very straight, very precise, safely. Uh, yeah, it's a great tool. It makes me heat up and make it that day better. So fast. So much better than using a saw because you can risk cutting cables because cables normally hit, sit and hang on here. Definitely there's a cable around here. So you don't have to worry about that. Really good. Blades are a little bit expensive, but I've used this and I've probably done about 30 meters with this thing so far. And I've hit nails, I've hit screws, and I'm still on my first blade. I do have spare blades if I need it, but still on my first blade. Really good for just plasterboard, drywall. Yeah, I'm loving this tool. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. And if you're interested in one, you will find it on. Oh yeah. <laughs> Head down back up. Don't forget the sales plug. You, you can, can buy this on Amazon right now. It's got a link in the description. It's definitely worth it. If you don't have one, pick it up. The tool will last forever. And there's no going back to the old ways that we used to do it. So thanks a lot. Check it out. Link in the description. Are you my manager? Are my manager? I'll get this angle over here because this is where it was. Alright guys, so we just cut this, we just pulled these sheets down and this is exactly why uh, you should have the right tool for this job. It's because if I used a saw, and what a lot of people do, they cut it and even if they're careful, they only go past a little bit. Well, right here, it doesn't matter if we went that way or that way, you've got a cable right here. And that, that's bad. That can lead to problems. If you don't know you cut it, it's dangerous. Um, if you cut it and you don't repair it. So you can see we run our blade straight over and it didn't nick it whatsoever. It's perfectly fine, didn't touch it. So that's why we use that. But that's a perfect example of why we do it because it's right in the way. If you were to use the saw, the teeth of the saw will cut onto it. And uh, yeah, to have a close look, it's perfect. It doesn't even touch it. I can even put it, even do a quick demo. Do a quick demo over here. A bit of this. So we'll get it going. Yeah, the old saw stool. Yeah. Put a stool at either end and a plank. And... Alright guys. So let me switch the camera around. Just 
There's your cutout. You want a nice straight cut for a tight fit. If it's a tight fit, it means less mud has to go into the joint, it means it's going to dry quicker. It's going to be an all-round better job. So that's what we did here. Twelfth of the twelfth, nineteen ninety six. What time? Ten forty-eight. This corner was was made. Nineteen ninety-six. And if some people have been watching my videos for a while, you know I've done a lot of fixing videos and there's a gap in the ceiling and people understand that if they're from other countries and they blame me that we're wasting a like we're doing a bad job because we left a gap but even in 1996 they leave gaps because you don't need it doesn't need to be tight here Australia. in Australia doesn't need to be so they're doing it in 1996 when I was still you know in kindergarten or whatever anyway you have a good day Bye.